Hello everyone, this is a Blender tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make the visual effects of Seven Nation Army official music video. First, we can start by making the repeating unit of this music video. Let's add a plane. Rotate this 45 degree around the axis and tap into edit mode. Hit S and X, enter 0.5 to scale down along X axis. And then hit I to inset face so that it looks like this. Next, let's make white and black materials. Tap into edit mode, then hit number 3 for face select mode, and then select faces. And you can assign a material to the selected faces by clicking assign button on material properties panel. And change collection name to pictures, and plane name to picture.000. Ok, outside the pictures collection, we can add a new plane and name it canvas. This canvas is literally a canvas. Let's add a new geometry node and remove the spreadsheet for more space. And because we ain't gonna use the original geometry, so disconnect group input. And add a mesh line node, mesh the points node, and instance on points node in this order. After that, drag a collection from outliner to node editor, then connect this to instance socket. After then, enable all these checkboxes, separate children, list the children, and pick instance. As you can see, pictures are stacked along the mesh line. However, tilted because the latest rotation state of the reference object are not applied yet. So, select the picture and hit Ctrl A and apply rotation. Now, we are gonna animate this stack. To be more specific, each picture is gonna falling down sequentially. So, bring in a set position node and add a combined XYG node. We don't need the offset value of mesh line anymore, so set to zero. And then plug a index node into G socket of combined XYG node. Now, we are gonna inject time dependency. First, add mass node, then select subtract, and then connect a scene time node to the mass node. You can play animation by hitting space as expected. It's going down because G value decreases as scene time increases. To make it easy to move the playhead in this workspace, let's spell it horizontally and click drop down and select timeline. We can move the pictures with G value bigger than 0 onto the XY plane by using minimum mass node with 0 value. This node compares two values and return the smaller one. Next, add another combined XYG node for scale, then set all values to 1. After then, connect the output of the minimum mass node to XY sockets of combined XYG node. As you can see, each picture becomes larger sequentially depending on its index. It's time to introduce a camera to take picture of this canvas. So, after adding a camera, then hit numpad 0 to change your viewpoint to this camera and then we can set rotation values to 0 to make this camera direct it straight down and we can lock this camera to view like this we also can lock location or rotation value of camera respectively as you can see we need to do fine tuning on the velocity along the g-axis also the rate of scale change respectively we can use 4 additional mass node to fine tune I recommend that you try fine-tuning yourself. To remember this controller, let's apply red color to these mass nodes and change the name of this geometry nodes to loot. I try to make it as similar to the music video as possible, but there still remains room for fine-tuning. I think you can do better than me. We need to add a black background because the first picture should appear from darkness. Before playing animation, we need to change viewport shading to render preview. Good. Now it's time to set lighting. We are gonna make it easy with bright and contrast. You can find this from color dropdown on world properties panel. I didn't use these variables in the animation of this tutorial but I think it is one of the ways to implement the flashing light effect. Now we are gonna remake the picture object with geometry node. Before going any further, select the picture and hit forward slash key to focus on the picture. Change viewport shading to material preview. 
and add a new geometry nodes. Because we don't need this original mesh anymore, tap into edit mode, select all vertices, hit M and select the merge at center. I skipped the explanation because it's just simple node configuration so far. Now we can add another layer with a grid node and locate this layer between black and white diamond. This layer is gonna serve as a window to show video clips, so we need to make another material for this. Please name it picture.000 because it is important to match the name suffix number with the object. And add a switch node because we don't need to see it for the time being. This geometry node is done, so name it picture. Let's amend the white material. As shown in the original music video, the bottom half should be casted shadow. First, change current workspace to shading and select white material. And we can use a gradient texture node for this with these two nodes selected. Hit F key to connect them. After that, with the gradient texture node selected, hit Ctrl T. This is the shortcut for adding texture coordinate and mapping together. Next, insert a color lamp node before principled PSDF. We need to use object socket from texture coordinate and also change the gradient type to radial. And we can set interpolation type to constant and set pose value of white color to 0.5. And select the first color and in hue saturation value mode, set value to 0.1 and with others, set 0. Let's add a hue saturation value node. We are going to use this for animation. So merge current area with the left and split it horizontally, then select the timeline. And then move your mouse cursor over value and with right click in drop down menu, click insert keyframe. Then we can see a keyframe created. Here is something important to say. If the object, in this case, picture.000 is not selected, or if the hue saturation value node is not selected, the keyframe might be invisible to you. So check this point. And we can switch workspace between timeline and grab editor with a shortcut, control tab. And in grab editor, we need to make sure that the default value are selected in the left side panel. Then we can assess the modifier in the right side panel. If you cannot see the right side panel, in grab editor, hitting end key will toggle side panel. After that, in drop down menu, select the built-in function and start the animation with spacebar. As you can see, the frequency is too high. So we need to change the flashing animation by tuning amplitude, phase multiplier, and value offset. I made this animation with a constant frequency, though in the original music video, the frequency changed with time. I'm just telling you that you can control the flashing frequency things in here. Uh, wait, did you notice? It is upside down. This is because the output of the power mass node is to have always minus sign in case the exponent value of the power mass node is set to odd number. So, I recommend you apply absolute mass node. We've just finished the white material, and this feature will be reused in another material, so let's group it with command G, then name this group white.flashing. Next, let's go up to the geometry nodes, then turn off the switch node to show the layer for video clip, Yes, it's time to configure the picture that triple zero material. We're gonna use an image texture node for a video clip. And before going any further, I will give you a quick tutorial on how to prepare a video clip with a transparent background.
Now let's apply the prepared video clip to this image texture. Then hit Ctrl T to add texture coordinate and mapping node. First, set the vector source to object. Next, set the extension attribute of image texture to clip. And then change the frame related data depending on video clip you want to use. Last, check cyclic and auto refresh. Okay, let's use the color output of the image texture as alpha source to make the background transparent. After that, we can find the settings in material properties panel and let's change the blend mode to alpha clip and then you can control clip threshold value like this. Next, like the original music video, we are gonna implement the mirror symmetry. First, select texture coordinate and mapping node, and then hit command G to make a node group, then name it mirroring, and tap into this group. Let's change the X location value to 0.5 to move the image to the horizontal center. And as shown in the figure that I made, the node configuration now we are making is just the realization of this simple symmetry equation and if else statement. I just used an absolute mass node for this and let's just add a size value to group input in order to control the size of the image outside of this node group. We can control the size like this and bring in a mapping node to move the mirrored images toward the midline. We are almost done. Let's add a white flashing node group that we made earlier using mix RGB node with multiply mode. And we can make the lower part more darker by increasing factor value, like this. Well done, it's getting similar to the original music video. Let's add more pictures to the canvas. First, I'll make a deep copy of picture.000 with sharp D. And we need to make a copy of the picture shader in order to show different movie clip. First, change the workspace to geometry node, which of name is picture and just plug the two set material backward into group input like in this video and name them base material and picture material respectively. By using this group input, we don't need to duplicate this picture geometry node. It's because we can inject the material we're gonna use into the geometry node on the light modifier properties panel. Next, select the material properties panel and let's duplicate white material and name it LED. Then go up to shader editor. We can duplicate the node group white flashing by clicking number button and name it LED flashing. Tap into this group. Let's change the colors of color lamp to LED colors with different brightness. And don't forget to inject this LED material into the picture geometry node. Let's check the animation. You can set the outside of the camera viewport to be blackened like this. And we haven't changed the movie clip for the second layer yet. So first, select the picture that number one material. Next, choose another movie clip for the image texture. And we can adjust the size or location of the new movie clip by manipulating the mirroring node and mapping node. As we did for the first movie clip, we also need to adjust frame selected data for this movie clip in the image texture node. If there is any problem in this step, first of all, check whether this material is injected into the geometry node. Okay, for spinning skirts with Anya, it's not bad. You can repeat this kind of steps to add additional pictures to the canvas. And if you don't like the color of a movie clip, you can use the hue saturation value node like this. And if you want to change the total count of pictures to show, you can do that by changing count number of mesh line node. Please remember that this geometry node is for canvas. So if something is wrong like you can't see anything in the geometry node editor, first of all, check whether the canvas object is selected. Also, you need to check whether the geometry node is selected in modifier properties panel. Great, we've just finished 90% of this tutorial. There are only three things left to do. First, making each picture sink down gradually like this original video. Second, 
very simple composting with lens distortion. At last, velocity editing with audio. Let's start with the picture geometry node. At the tail of node configuration, add a new transform node. And you can shift its pictures downward by changing Y translation value. Um, as you can see, only objects are moved, but the textures are stationary. So we are going to create a controller using a driver, which enables value sharing. First, select the canvas object in Outliner, and we can add a new custom properties in the Object Properties panel. Then change the property name to Y Shift, and with light click, in drop the menu, let's copy as new driver, and come back to the picture geometry node. With light click, we can paste the driver in here. And light click again, let's edit this driver for this case. First, we can change the type to scripted expression, and let's multiply Y shift by minus 1. Please remember this, in order to assess Y shift value in the item panel, the canvas object should be selected before. Next, we need to edit mirroring node group, so tap into this group, and with light click over Y location value of a mapping node, then paste to driver. Last, just repeat this paste work with white flashing and red flashing node groups. Well done! You can toggle the light panel with hitting N key, and you can control Y shift value in here. In my settings, 0 0.06 fit well. Additionally, for your information, we can also move the camera along Y direction to make it more look similar to original music video. Great, let's go to the next step. This composting effect does not exist in the original music video, but I added this effect because it looks cool. So if you're interested in composting, try other composting nodes for fun. Finally, we are ready to make a leisured product of this tutorial. I'm gonna use the divide mass node connected with scene time node for the animation. So with light click, we can insert keyframe. To make the keyframe visible in the timeline, first of all, the mass node for this keyframe should be selected, and also the canvas object too. And then you can change this timeline to grab editor by hitting Ctrl Tab. Also, you can copy keyframes with Shift D. Next, we can use the reference music video in this workspace. Let's another horizontal split and drop down menu, then select video sequencer. And then with Shift A, we can bring the reference music video. We can just hit space to play this animation with music. This is the end of the 7 Nation Army Blender tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you like my Blender tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys very very soon. Later.